In this video, we're going to illustrate how to export data, including a peak model, through the clipboard as ASCII columns, which can then be plotted in Excel, for example. The option that we're going to explore in this video is this toolbar button, which allows the export of the peak model plus the data. And this is via a clipboard dialog window, which can be selected and then pasted into Excel. I've already pasted these data into Excel and I've arranged a plot of these data so we can see that the information that now exists in Excel is capable of reproducing the shapes that we saw in CAS XPS. The export to Excel includes information such as the binding energy and each one of these component peaks, background and the total envelope. Now in this case the peak model is constructed from more than just bell-shaped curves representing photo emission peaks. There are components within the peak model that represent background. So if we simply export components in this form, the plot within Excel requires further work if we want to plot a set of peaks above a background signal where we have to calculate a background from a set of components. However, you don't have to do this in Excel. There is a way of exporting the data from CASA XPS that will include the curves forming the photo emission peaks and the background. The information that has been exported to Excel is linked to the way the data are displayed within CASA XPS. But the plot in Excel was very similar to this plot. So if I change the way these are displayed in CASA XPS and then export the peak model, we'll obtain a different set of information about this peak model. So in order to change the display in CAS XPS we need to use some of the options on the colors property page of the tile display parameters dialog window and these tick boxes here are the ones that will make the difference. And these work on the component index. And The component index is a parameter that is defined for each component within a peak model. When I say color components using the component index then rather than simply using colors that are ordered by the sequence of the components on the components property page, the colors are then plotted according to the values that were assigned to these component indices. So when I press apply, you can see that the components now have a, a new color. And then there's another option that says combine component indices. The colors that are in common now will be summed when I press the apply button. So if we look here, we can see there are a set of components that have the same gray color. And when I press apply, these are then summed and we can see that they form a Shirley type shape that is associated with a background. So if the export is now performed with the display in this form, we will obtain a different set of information that will include the sum of these components that are representative of the background. A typical way of displaying a peak model would be to place the photo emission peaks that are represented by these bell-shaped curves on top of the representative background signal. Now in this case, the background is a flat background plus a set of components that are now summed to form this Shirley shape. So what we would like to do is sit these bell-shaped curves on top of the Shirley type shape. And this can be achieved if the background signal is assigned a component index of minus one. And then when this button is ticked here, that indicates that components should be displayed as if they are a background. In other words, any components that are not background signal will sit on top of the components that are background signal. Then when I press the apply, then the components now sit on top of this Shirley shape that is formed from components. So if we export the data at this point, we ought to end up with a set of columns that describe all the component peaks, including the separate background peaks, and then the sum of all component peaks that have the same component index. The display is now representative of the type of information that we would like to export. So if we now go to the toolbar button, and obtain the dialog window that shows the information that can be passed through the clipboard, we now see that we have a set of components as indicated by these headings 
and these are tab spaced so that when they are placed into Excel then rather than seeing the plot as we saw before after pasting into Excel we now see that the component peaks that are meant to be bell shaped and photo emission signal are now sat on top of the background signal that is a consequence of inelastic scattering. The display in Excel is formed by selecting appropriate columns out of this table and we can see here these are the new columns that are a result of using the component indices within CASA XBS. The original set are still here but these new ones starting at this point here are a result of the component indices that are indicated as part of the titles. So here we see sum of minus one. This column represents all of the components that are summed to form this Shirley background that is constructed from components.